In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about a directive called ng-repeat, which is very handy for looping over arrays. So let me demonstrate that by adding an array into the controller scope. So I'm going to say this dot my list equals one, two, three, and four. Right? It's a simple array. And what I want to do is in my index.html, I want to loop through that array and print those elements. Uh, by creating, I don't know, paragraphs for each one of them, for example. Right, I'm going to get rid of this um, ng show and hide. So let's say I'm going to repeat a paragraph. Let's say I have a paragraph here called hello. I want to repeat this four times. I'm going to repeat this once for each element in my list. How do I do that? I do that by using a directive called ng-repeat. So ng-repeat repeats the element that the directive is assigned to. Here, ng-repeat is assigned to the paragraph tag. So this paragraph is going to be repeated multiple times. Now, how do I tell it how to repeat over a list? It's very similar to a for loop. Do you say a for i equals 0, i less than? This is very similar. So you have an i in the list. So here the list is ctrl dot my list. OK, so this is how you use ng repeat. You're basically looping through the list for having a loop variable, and then you assign that to any HTML element. It is going to repeat that HTML element that many times. Okay, so let's refresh the page. And here you see hello is repeated four times. If I were to add multiple elements over here, five, six, maybe a string really doesn't matter. Uh, if I were to refresh the page, you see it shows up that many more times. It's basically looping through this, and for each element, it's printing the hello. I'm going to get rid of the string here. Um, okay, now, this doesn't have to be just one element. So this can be a div, for instance, and each div can have multiple elements in it, right? It's just going to repeat the whole structure. Let me illustrate that. I'm going to change this to a div. It's going to be a div. And inside this div, I'm going to have multiple paragraphs. All right, so this is a hierarchy of nodes, right? It's not just one node. So this is this is a tree of HTML nodes. Now, this external div over here below the controller is annotated with ng repeat. So this whole div is going to get repeated as many times as there are elements in my list. So including each one of these paragraphs. Let me demonstrate that by refreshing the page. So you see here. The whole structure gets repeated that many times, right? So it doesn't have to be just one element. Okay, let me get rid of these other paragraphs and retain just this one. So it's basically a bunch of divs with uh, one paragraph in each of them. <clears throat> the cool thing about ng-repeat is by using this as a loop variable, by using i as a loop variable, i is essentially available within that element marked with ng-repeat for usage. So let's say I have a scripted like this using i. This is perfectly possible. And for each iteration, i is going to contain the value of that element like you would expect. So my list is items 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is going to get repeated six times as we've already seen. But for each repetition, i is going to contain the value of that list element. So refresh. Now here you see each time it's different. So this is where things get really handy. If you have like a list of uh, objects, then you can actually use i to hold on to the object, and then each element of that object can be accessed within it, right? I'm going to demonstrate that by actually creating this list of objects. So let's say I have this array, and in the array, I have a bunch of, uh, let's say, user objects, right? So I have a name, age. Let's say you have these objects in a list. Maybe you're getting it from, you know, an external source or something. Um, okay, let me populate this. I'm going to hard code it with some nonsense values. All right. So with this, we have a simple array of objects initialized. So I have this my list, which is an array of objects. Each object contains name and age. Now, I can go here. Now, i is going to contain 
an object for each iteration. So let me I call this OBJ, for example, the name really doesn't matter. What I can do here is access each property of OBJ in this ng repeat block. So let's say I have name over here. I'm gonna call this OBJ dot name. So what I'm doing is I'm accessing the name property of each element. For the first iteration, this is gonna be the object and then OBJ dot name is gonna be foo. For the second iteration, this will be the object and OBJ dot name will be bar and so on. So I'm gonna use the age property as well. So age will be obj dot h. And I'm gonna have a horizontal ruler which separates multiple elements. So since this is inside the div, the hr is also gonna get repeated. Now if I were to refresh the page, so here you can see each element is being duplicated and as it's duplicated, I can access the properties of each individual object. So this is how you create loops in Angular.